As a coach, I usually don't write things down. I just get out there and speak with my emotions. I'm looking at one of my guys sitting right here in front of me, so I'm going to treat this just like a talk to Ross Brister and the team. But last night I decided I needed to write everything down. And I got extremely emotional. In the process of getting emotional, I needed something to take my mind off my emotions. And what I came up with was this. Up there, looking down at me with a goofy smile on his face, Jay is saying, how did the Brother Martin graduate with perhaps the worst academic record ever manage to get a spot to speak at my funeral? <laughs> Hello, my name is Robbie Dotry, and today I am honored to represent Brother Martin and the Crusader Wrestling family. Mr. Joe, Miss Patsy, and the entire Ring family, thank you for allowing me a few minutes to express our love of Jay and the legacy that he leaves behind. In the summer of 1983, we were coming off of a wrestling season where we had finished as state runner-ups. We were looking for a little extra motivation that summer that would not only bond the team, but would bring together all of the athletes of Brother Martin High School. What we came up with was a simple motto. It was win or die in the attempt. Rodita. We shared this idea with our classmates. At the time, we were very immature, very silly young boys who had no idea about death and no concept of death. We only had a desire to succeed. We embraced this motto. And in 1984, the athletic teams at Brother Martin posted one of the school's greatest seasons ever. There was a sophomore who was particularly moved by this motto, and he and his classmates carried it on. Jay Link would go on to an all-state football career and help lead his team to the state semifinals. During his junior season, Jay was asked to help the wrestling team, who needed a heavyweight for the following season. As usual, Jay was quick to accept the challenge. Jay would ask his good friends, Mark Devonport and Greg Schmidt, to help him by teaching him a couple of moves that not were heavyweight moves, but were lightweight moves, because Jay was that type of athlete. Just as only Jay could, he would walk to the back and say, hey, bra, keep it simple. I don't want you to teach me too much, because I don't need to think out there. <laughs> With the help of his mentor and assistant coach, P.L. Williams, Jay progressed during his senior season. Wrestlers worked for years to reach the ultimate goal of standing on top of the podium at the end of the state tournament. Jay, who had only wrestled for one year, used his fierce determination, mental toughness, heart, Along with his God-given athletic ability, he pulled off three of the most miraculous upsets in the history of the Louisiana State Tournament. When he pinned his opponent in the state finals, it set off a wild celebration that is still reminisced about today. Jay's inner qualities would serve him against a much tougher opponent later in life. In 2010, Jay approached me as he approached so many others in this room. He needed to share with me his diagnosis and his plan. And just like an athlete, he conveyed his game plan. And his plan was simple. Fight and battle as long as possible for his children and his family. The last thing he said to me that day was, Wodita. Going into the 2013 season, I asked Jay if the team, who was seeking its 14th state title, could dedicate the season to him. Jay's stepson, Ross, was poised to win the heavyweight state championship, and I wanted to take the pressure off of Ross and put it squarely on the shoulders of the entire team. Humbly, Jay agreed, and he inspired not only a coach, but he inspired his peers. What he did transcended times. He connected young men, and I guess you have to call us old men alike. He united these young boys into a team. The motto, one for j rang out in the hearts of both friend and foe that season. The Crusaders were nearly perfect. 
They were inspired by Jay's speeches and his presence. They shattered the state scoring record by 25 points. The one moment that I'll never forget is when Ross Brister won his state championship and a young sophomore state champion named Paul Klein rushed to Jay with tears streaming down his face. As the team surrounded their hero and the entire crowd chanted one for Jay, I realized at that time that we were all the luckiest people on earth on earth for having shared this great experience. During the next two seasons, Jay was always there, inspiring with his presence and speech. Even when speech became a constant struggle for him, he would continue to whisper Wodita as I, was wa as I would walk up and hug him and kiss him on the head. We are all better people because of you, Jay. On behalf of your teammates, and most importantly, the young men that you will always serve as a role model for. We love you, Jay Rink. I would like to close with the words of President Theodore Roosevelt. I was standing on a beach a couple of weeks ago last week when I got the news of Jay's passing. The thing that came to mind right away was a speech by President Roosevelt that hung on our locker room wall when I was at Brother Martin. It got me through a lot of tough days and it got me through last week. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best, in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Jay, through your courage and your determination, you will be remembered forever as Brother Martin's golden boy. Thank you.